トリックさんにエスコートは頼まなかったのですかなんでパトリックの名前が出てくるのですかえだってユミエラさんはユミエラWe have Villainous Level 99. This is episode number seven. And, you know, right out the gate, you know, right out the front of the video, I have to say, objectively and subjectively, I do think this is the worst episode of Villainous Level 99 that we've gotten so far. Now, that doesn't mean this was a bad episode. I just think if we were to, to rank, you know, most enjoyable to least enjoyable. Episode one through episode seven, I think that episode seven is going to be the seventh spot. Again, I don't think it was bad by any means. I just think that if someone said, Hey, this episode was a little bit boring, wasn't really feeling it this week, I'd be like, Yeah, I completely get that. Virtually nothing happened. Eumelia got a little bit closer to Eleanor or Eleonora, Eleanor, Eleonora. Uh, they became more friends. Eleanor showed her. A, a, I'm gonna go Eleanor. I don't. It, you can correct me. It might be Eleanor. I'm gonna go Eleanor though. But uh, Eleanor went and she kind of chased her down throughout this episode. She was kind of like the aggressor in the friendship, kind of the one that you kind of can't get rid of. That Umilia kept trying to over and over again. Uh, the episode mainly focused on this dance or this ball that was coming, which is typically seen as like these kids debut in noble society and stuff it's like this it's this end of year type party totally makes sense so this this whole episode is really building towards that and the little things in between were alicia getting bullied we found out that alicia during the main um otome game you know the you know Umelia is the one that was bullying her for whatever reason because you know putting your thinking cap on it's like if Umelia was the final boss it was so strong just just kill her you know what I mean? And, and it sounds morbid and it sounds crazy, but like, why go through all of like, just kill her, show up in her room, just, you know, or like pew pew with your dark magic, just, just kill her, kill her before she gets powerful. Uh, anyways, though, <clears throat> excuse me, Umilia was the, was the aggressor, was the bullier. Uh, she, you know, made it her thing to find the person doing that this episode that led her to Eleanor because it was one of her underlings. So basically Alicia's not getting bullied anymore. But then that led Eleanor to get closer to her because she was like, hey, I'm not going to tell him, tell anybody about this because that's going to F you up with the with the prince, even though she's like, I know the prince is going to end up with Alicia anyways after a demon lord. But she was like, you know, but, you know, I'm just not going to tell anybody. And Eleanor saw it as like this really like, you know, saintly thing that she did. <clears throat> and uh, they got closer. Patrick invited her to the, you know, to the thing. Her and Patrick got closer. She went to the party. She looked magnificent. Uh, the ball was, you know, went out, went on without a hitch kind of thing. Uh, Patrick invited her to dance. Obviously, he has a crush on her. Obviously, his, you know, feelings are building. I like how he called himself out for being dense and being dumb. He was like, you know, he, he called himself out this episode. And I was like, that appeals to me. I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I also like how Humilia is noticing, like, the things that she thinks in her head and what she says out loud are, are two very different things. And I think that she's being, um, that she's getting closer to being more okay with beginning to verbalize that, like, I think at least to Patrick, I think she will we'll probably get an episode soon to where she's like, you know, I think something in my head, but when I say it, it, it just is not the same. And I'm sorry. I think we're getting closer to that kind of thing. So stuff happened this episode. Objectively, though, not a lot happened. It was really just, you know, the ball and uh, the queen hooked her up with a dress. And, you know, we got to see her get closer to Patrick. So, again, I enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed the moment with Alicia and Edwin or Edward or whatever. You know, I like how that kind of followed the storyline. Uh, I like seeing Amelia dance with Patrick. I like seeing her in her dress. I thought that was really cute. I like her being seen in a different light to a lot of different students. I like her getting, a, you know, Legitly, I like her getting another friend in um, Eleonora. I thought that was a really cool thing. You know, I think that she could be a genuine friend. Eventually, she's going to have to tell her of like, I just don't know if you and the prince are going to work out kind of thing. You know, but hey, let, let's let that happen when it happens. I liked all of it. I thought it was a good episode. I just, again, going back to the beginning, 
I just think if we had to rank, you know, there's 12 episodes a season and eventually you're going to be like, okay, what, what episode did I enjoy the most? Episode one, you know, to me, what episode did I enjoy the least? Episode seven. I think that that's probably what it'll end up being. And it's just because it was just, it was just an episode of Villainous 99. Nothing crazy happened, but contextually, I think it was a good episode. So again, you know, if I were to rank this week's episode so far, I think this was, you know, better than most we've gotten this week. If I were to rank it against itself, I think it's just a little bit lower. But anyways, that's really all I have. I, I, I don't really think there's anything else to talk about this episode. Uh, I just enjoy uh, seeing Patrick get a little bit more bullish. I do think he needs to be a little bit more upfront with his feelings just because of Yamilia's internal dialogue is for some reason, you know, she doesn't even think that Patrick could consider her this monster, you know, a romantic option. And then on top of it, in her past life, she had no romantic experience either. So, you know, you could definitely kind of sympathize with her as like the first time you fell in love or the first time you wanted to go on a date or like your first crush with somebody. Like you can definitely kind of sympathize or see yourself in her, you know, in her shoes. You can empathize with her because like this is like her first blush at dealing with this stuff, considering that she didn't really have that romantic um experience in her past life so as she's in this life she's like there's just no way he could see me that way on top of me not having all this romantic experience on top of me not you know pursuing him in a certain way or light or whatever i'm also this level 99 monster beast person so it's like you can you can kind of understand so but i do enjoy kind of seeing you know how that'll end and hopefully as we truck our way to episode 12 um I'm really hoping we actually see the Demon Lord by the end of the season. I doubt we will, but I'm hoping that we get, like, you know, some fire stuff happen. And between her and between uh, Patrick, I'm hoping that we see, um, you know, this is tagged as a romance. So I kind of want to see it happen a little bit. So that'd be nice. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. See you next week for episode eight of Villainous 99. Peace.